All right, well, my plan uh, for today is to, to wrap up the suspension upgrades on our Winnebago Adventure uh, Class A motorhome. This is a 2003 uh, that we're uh, fixing up. And, you know, the goal here is just to, to improve the ride of this large motorhome. It rides okay. I've, I've already uh, installed a, a, a new front sway bar, which has had a huge improvement. And the next stage is to uh, install some airbags. <laughs> it's like a dog. Now these are airlift airbags. I know a lot of folks uh, do the sumo springs. I opted for airbags instead. I had airbags before and I kind of like having that adjustability. So these are fronts. Um, I also have some rear ones. There's there's not a whole lot of complexity to this. Uh, you know, we got the airbag itself and I've already gone ahead and, and kind of done a little dry fit of the these brackets. I make sure I had all the the bolts and everything uh, before I started the install. But it's got this top bracket and this part's going to actually mount to the frame of the RV. And here's the part that compresses and expands. And there's a there's a jounce bumper already in here, which is that uh, bumper, soft bumper part that's inside in case you bottom out the RV. So these can actually be run uh, totally empty, like on zero PSI. So that's a good thing with the air lift system. So I've already gone and uh, mounted the bottom bracket here. This is going to be for the driver's side. This is the uh, where the air hose is going to go and inflate and deflate the system. The bottom here, there's a, there's a bracket with a couple of carriage bolts. This is going to basically uh, cinch it down to the, to the leaf springs. It's going to sit on top of the leaf springs and attach to the frame right here. And so here's basically the same thing, except this is for the passenger side. Here's the uh, air hose Oops, that comes with it. And I just need to locate uh, a spot where I want to mount the, uh, the little Schrader uh, valve inflation points, uh, probably in the front or somewhere in the wheel well. This is a, uh, I believe it's like a heat shield for the air hose if I have to go around any exhaust or anything like that. So that's pretty much all there is to it. it comes with a decent set of instructions and I've already gone through that. I think we're about ready. All right, well, I did need to uh, to raise the front end up just a little bit, not much, just to be able to to get the uh, the airbag to fit in that gap between the frame and that leaf spring. So I think I have enough room now. Now I can just remove the old jounce bumper and get this uh, fitted into place. See, it's already kind of spinning. I remember last time this was the most difficult part. Well, it turns out that these uh, jounce bumper bolts here are a bit rusty. And once I started loosening up a little bit, this thing would just spin and it was just impossible to get off. So I decided to just, just cut them off. I'm not gonna use them anyway. I'm tired of messing with it.
All right, so I've got the uh, airbags mounted in place, at least from the bottom, and they're all lined up and everything's pretty much tightened down, uh, except for the top bracket. So now I'm gonna just lower uh, the RV down just a little bit so that it you know, lines up with the top, and then I can get the uh, top mounting bolt uh, a hole drilled there and uh, secured it loosely, and then I'll lower a little bit more and we'll finally uh, tighten it all down in its final spot. So yeah, let's drop this a little bit and we'll get that top bracket in place. Now with the air hose hooked up, I'm ready to put some air in the airbags themselves. So I just use my onboard uh, Vi Air uh, air compressor and that's in the compartment over by my batteries. I just have it hardwired to the 12 volt system. It works pretty well by the way. And I can just use my existing um, chucks that I use for my tires uh, to inflate and deflate the airbags right from this valve inside the wheel well. Well, let's fast forward now several weeks. Uh, we are uh, on the road currently and we are in Alaska. So, you know, we've been uh, traveling through Canada and actually up uh, through the Alcan Highway and then to the Klondike Highway and eventually in Alaska. So we've had the RV in some pretty extreme driving conditions. You know, a lot of it has been uh, dirt, you know, a lot of it's been paved and, you know, there are things called uh, frost heaves indentations in the road based on the expansion and shrinkage of you know the, the ground you know thawing and it's just a horrible driving experience and it's really bouncy but uh, overall the uh, the rig has performed very very well with these uh, suspension upgrades but let me back up a little bit you know I did eventually get the uh, the rear airbags installed as well. I didn't film a lot of that process because it's similar to the front airbag install, except the bracket's a little different. I did a, a pre-fit assembly just to make sure I had everything I needed and then mounted the, uh, the airbag on the leaf spring just per the instructions and everything went pretty well. Uh, even removing the jounce bumper on the rear uh, airbag, on the rear suspension, was easier. One of the things that I discovered uh, installing the rear airbags is that I can actually lift up the, uh, the panel that covers the wheel well for the rear and just hinge it up and I just put a pole there to hold it up. But without having to remove that, I can just remove a few screws and that whole panel just kind of flips right up, which made access to the, uh, the frame behind the, the wheels and the tires more accessible. And you know, I, I was able to kind of jack them up with the, uh, the hydraulic jacks and be able to access that area behind there. So kudos to uh, Winnebago for adding that hinge to make that area a little bit more accessible. The most difficult part for both the front and the rear install, I found was, was just drilling holes through the frame of the RV. And I struggled with this a little bit. You know, initially I had some drill bits that were kind of dull. <laughs> so I had to upgrade those, get some newer bits, and that did help. But it was still difficult because you're drilling a half inch hole through you know, a quarter inch uh, steel frame. So it was difficult, but I, I started with a smaller bit and then slowly stepped it up to the half inch bit and that seemed to, to do the job. For the inflation points, I put them in a pretty accessible location. For the front, I added one on either side inside the wheel well that's kind of out of the way, out of sight, but it's still easily accessible. Now for the rear airbags, I mounted both of the uh, Schrader valves inside this small compartment on the uh, 
passenger side. I can uh, adjust both of those at the same time in the same location. I'm still kind of making some adjustments to the airbag pressure. Uh, one of the things I really like about having airbags is that I can adjust them. But right now I have the front set to like 30 PSI. They go up to 100 and I have the rears uh, set to 60. Now being able to test out these airbags and the front anti-sway bar under these conditions is kind of the ultimate uh, set of conditions. We've got potholes. We've got washboard situations. You know, big old uneven roads. Even on uh, dirt roads, there's just a lot of bumps and irregularities. Uh, Having the suspension upgrades made a huge difference in our ability to handle those situations without any trouble. Of course, I'm still tweaking some things and you know that's the nice thing about having airbags is you can make adjustments along the way as your, as your loads change and you wanna even things out. Because we typically just run with full water and everything. So when you hit those potholes and bumps, it's nice to have a little extra help on those uh, leaf springs you know so that you don't uh, really get those booms you know when when you uh, hit a pothole or something like that oh also if you haven't already be sure to check out that other video where i mounted the camera underneath and you can see uh, everything working the front airbags the anti-sway bars as i drive down the road i think it's a really good way to kind of see how things are working so be sure to check that video out if you haven't already done so really the rv has performed very very well it it Rides very stable. There's no wind issues really or any issues with uh, any movement when semis go by, which is I think what a lot of people are concerned about. Hope you enjoyed this upgrade and uh, let us know uh, what you think and I'll talk to you in the next one. So take it easy.